Hey, 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 hey! Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Realistic Farming Channel. For FS19, where we use real tractors, we use real equipment, we have realistic tutorials, and we try to have a real lot of fun. This is my pre-time-lapse setup, as usual. Sorry about the last video, guys, where I didn't have uh, an introduction to the video. Uh, it was the holiday, and I just put out the video time-lapse-wise. So my apologies for that one. I hope everybody's doing great tonight. I'm doing fantastic. My name is Fury Machine, and let's get into this. So I made some decisions going forward. I, uh, I'm going to use the no HUD. But I have to, or I mean, the no, I'm going to play in cab. Sorry, let me get my words right and get my merds wixed up. <laughs> blah, 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 right? Um, I'm going to use the, I'm going to play in cab, realistic as I can. Try to do it as realistically in cab speed wise. But I have to have the HUD on because you can't even tell what temperature it is. There's no way to tell when you're playing with seasons what the ground temperature is. There's nothing. And it's kind of like, this kind of sucks. I looked and looked and looked and looked and looked. Um, you can't even set your GPS up because you can't see your lines. You can't do anything like that. Uh, and in a realistic tractor, when you're inside the tractor, you would be able to see your lines and set it up, and it would be all computerized. So I compromised. I went half and half. I'm going to play in cab, but I'm going to keep the HUD on so I can see uh, what I need to do uh, as far as that goes. So that's not too much of a change, not too much, too bad of an issue. But anyways, this episode I spent, uh, we sold the crone, and I went with some butterfly mowers that attached to the front of a tractor, so that it aids me in helping see, and you know it's still super realistic. Um, there's people out there that run it, and the forge wagon on the back. That's just the way it works. Um, other than that, it's we've been battling rain. And boo, rain's terrible. I also am, I spent some time hossing over some silage for sale over at the BGA. As you guys can see, I've still got, let's get down here. I still have 226 tons of silage in that, in the fermenting silo right here. So what I've been doing is taking a load, putting it in there. And then load and taking it over and selling it. Because I'm storing up on silage because eventually we're going to make total mixed rations. I'm also going to be doing a um, a greenhouse, an onion greenhouse. And I think I'm going to put it up here at the barn. That little place of a way down there. But other than that, I think that's just pretty much what we do. We couldn't plant anything because the ground temperature is not high. Today, though... As you can see, we're into day seven, late spring. I fast forwarded time up until 928. But when the video, when we come back to actually play, it'll be 6 a.m. And it's going to go through a little bit of rain. I had to fast forward past the rain. And we'll be able to start seeding this. And I may break it up into a couple of smaller fields. Just so that I can get, like, instead of a 50-acre field, I may make, you know, just start cutting it up into smaller section so you can just do one field and then move on and then do one field and move on that's what i may do but uh and i'm yeah i'm pretty sure i'm gonna do that the other thing is i got a question to ask you guys and you can answer it down in the comments and then i'll wrap this up uh would you guys like me to come back on and start doing the 30 minutes ride along is what i call them the 30, 30 minute, 25, 30 minute videos of me walking through what we're doing as we're doing it. Because uh, I noticed that the time lapses are doing fantastic. And I love each and every one of you for liking them and subscribing and doing what you need to do. And it's fantastic. And it helps me out a lot. I'm going to continue to do them. But I miss talking to you guys. I miss coming on and explaining what's going on, explaining how it works. Um... But I also don't want to come across where I'm talking too much. So I'd be willing to work on my delivery as far as how much I talk and let me just play a little bit and then say a few things and then play a little bit and then say a few things. 
And if you guys want, just let me know in the comments if you want me to come on, play for 30 minutes. Now, unfortunately, what it will do, though, is even playing 6x speed, playing for 30 minutes will only get me two hours in game. So that's where we're going to have the quandary. We're still we're going to have to start having multiple videos for per day. Um, Because right now I have to go and I have to play off camera. Well, play on camera for two hours. I have to dedicate two hours of my time to sit down, which is fan. I mean, it's great. I'm still having an absolute blast doing it. Uh, but let me know if you guys want me to come on or maybe I'll just throw one up and see how it works. Uh, other than that, I think that's just about it. We Oh, we mowed, like I said, and then we're getting ready. As you can see today, day seven we'll, into mid-spring, we'll be able to seed that over there. And that's it. I think that's it, guys. So without further ado, look out for yourselves, look out for each other, and most importantly, look out for your families. That's super important. And just enjoy, enjoy, enjoy the video. And without further ado, roll that time lapse.